What's up, family? It's your man, Daryl Alder II. I got to give me some rest. I got some things to do in the morning. But before I go, I wanted to, uh, before I go to bed, excuse me, I wanted to drop this word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer before I do. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time. I thank you for what you have for me to share. And I pray you're glorified in the message, Lord. Um, I repent of any actions of my own, Lord, things that I did and that I know of that I don't. And any doors that I may have opened to allow the enemy room to move my life, I shut in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Um, any connections, any covenants, any oaths, anything I'm connected to that unbeknownst to me, Lord, I renounce and denounce in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything not of you. And Heavenly Father, I thank you for this word. Let it be what you want it to be. And let me share what you want me to share in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. What's up, y'all? This word is called staying connected to your source. The reason why I wanted to emphasize this is because so often in life, when we're going through challenging times, especially as Christians, you face warfare in different directions. And sometimes we forget to seek our source to rely on his strength. The book of Philippians chapter four, verse 12 says, I can't hold on. Hold on. I know. But let me, I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is with a full stomach or empty with plenty or little for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. I wanted to emphasize the importance of the strength where it comes from. It comes from Jesus. When you spend time in the presence of the Lord, you find yourself restored, strengthened, and you're able to let go of the burdens that you're carrying. Jesus said, come to me all who are heavy laden and burdened and I will give you rest. So I encourage you, make time to spend in his presence. You will not regret it because as you worship him and you let go of what's holding you back, you're able to release that stuff and get what he wants you to get. He is your source. And I wanted to give it a nice little example. I got this little night light in my living room. Check this out. Can you see that? I know you can see that. Okay. So now it's plugged into the outlet. And so when the darkness is around you, right? There's darkness. You plug into your source. What happens? Hold up. What happens? You light up. The source is not the night light. The source is the outlet that's connected uh, to the circuitry in the wall. And so I just wanna encourage you today as you're going through dark times, as you're going through difficult moments, as opposition is coming at you in a variety of ways and it's not making sense, remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Nehemiah says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Tap into that strength because God's got you and he will sustain you in every situation you go through. If there's anybody watching, if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, the only way to get right with the Father is through the Son, and this is through a confession of faith and a belief in your heart that Jesus is Lord. So repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I believe you died on that cross. I believe God the Father raised you back from the dead. I ask you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. If you said that and you meant that, you were born again. Your name is written in the book of life, but you do need to get born of water and of spirit. You're born of spirit, but you need to get in that water, get baptized, and find yourself a Bible-based church and watch God transform you. You need to go to church because it connects with the rest of the body. You can have your own individual walk, but when you're connected to others, oh, this is phone tripping, good. You can have, but when you're connected to others, you grow. And the reason why heaven is so important is because without heaven, there's hell. If you don't know Jesus when you die, unless he decides to give you one last shot, then ultimately your destiny is hell. He doesn't want that. He said, I've come uh, that you may have life and have it, have it more abundantly. He gave himself a, as a ransom for many. And when he died on that cross, he did it for you and me. And when his blood was shed, it was to purify us and take away the sins of the world. But you can only receive that by asking him to come into your life and be your Lord and Savior. If you don't do it and you reject it, you reject his salvation and you're embracing an eternity in hell and suffering. And God doesn't want that. That's why he sent his son to die for your sins. Because his son lived a perfect life, something we could never do. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm at Craig Alder underscore DC on Instagram. You can just look me up as Daryl Alder the second. On Facebook, I'm Daryl Alder. YouTube, Daryl Alder II. Um, I'd love to hear some comments and some feedback. Holla at your boy. Peace.